And it's just a quick video to show you what a Google site is and what it looks like. So this is editing mode. You can see all the editing tools here on the right. And then I can actually go to a preview here to show you what it actually looks like. So um, Bitmoji header that I just popped in and then I created some buttons. I did these in Canva, super easy. And then just pop them in here. Each one of them is a link. The links are also, I did a menu so that the menu creates on the left. Um, and all of the little um, emojis that are all by next to each one, I did by going to, it's called um, Emoji Keyboard, and it's a little um, Chrome extension, and you can use that and pop them in anywhere. It really is lovely, so um, I did that there. So each one of these is a link on the left, and then everything, um, all these are buttons here, so I can click on Raz Kids, and it will redirect me to that. Um, or I can stay here, um, Brain Pop, all of those things. So then I have a spotlight section, and you can see I did a quick schedule, and then an about me at the bottom with a rather old picture. Um, and then it has an assignments page. I did an assignments page. I chose to do a menu here, um, only because I know an assignments page, it can have an overview, but it might get long. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the assignments page at some point might get long um, as you're posting things since you don't want to have to scroll on forever um, as you're going so that that menu will help you jump down to the right section quickly. And then I popped in a student survey. It's just a Google uh, form that I popped right in there. It, pairs really easily with it. I have an expectations page and then I just posted those. I have a learning links page that has all kinds of links that I can continue to add to um, as I go throughout the year <clears throat> that students can access. And then I have a library page. I put in one Bitmoji library and as the year goes on, I'll put in more. And so it just links to that slide. Students can click on it. It goes to... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Students can link, to, uh, click on it. It goes to that slide, and every one of those books is a link to an actual video of a read aloud. So um, those are pretty cool, and it keeps things easy and simple. So you can put slides in here as well. Um, the other thing you can do is I did a little spotlight section, and this came from someone else, um, but it's a lovely little um, add-on. It was Susie Rio. Um, uh, Susie Rios, I think, is that's where that came from, and I think that's pretty cool. So I just one piece I didn't have to make myself. I could easily have done that um, in Canva as well. Um, I put it in the supply list, and it's actually a clickable link. So, and that's it. And then obviously a home button. You always want to have that home button there because you want to make sure you can get all the way back. So that's it. It's super easy to do. And I'm going to go back, get out of this. And go back here and show you very quickly this is really easy I mean it is drag and drop so I if I click on this little section here it gives me buttons and then all I have to do is click on them to upload an image or edit them if I decide I don't want the row I click on it and delete it it's really easy everything is very drag and drop you've got um, you can embed YouTube videos, um, documents, slides, all kinds of things. If I'm doing something that is from a Microsoft um, image or something or a document, a lot of times I'll just take a screenshot of it and then use it as an image in here. And that works as well. But you can put those in here as well. There's all kinds of ways to do that. So really easy. You can add text. Um, then it shows me all of my pages here and I can edit them right here. Um, and then it has different themes so you can choose different color background colors and print styles and stuff you just click on the one you want and it will create that and then you choose the um, main color image as well so um, the main color as well so super super easy don't be afraid of it I really do think it's such a handy tool and it's absolutely worth your trying. If you've never created a website before, this is really a simple, easy tool. Does it have all the features uh, that I like in my website and everything else? No, but it's not meant for that. This is meant for a very simple purpose and it works fabulously for that purpose. So there you go, my friends. I hope that helps.